let's talk about some of the use cases here right so this is actually an interesting topic so even though i had this kind of issues like where we are going to use this one as microsoft is also pushing a lot and you can see many of the things as without reading these things i thought this is basically useful when it comes to the zomato swiggy and uber all that kind of thing right so people can track this auto they can track the delivery that's the limitations with i thought even to be honest but after investigating further into this one there is a lot of lot of potentials here so we'll talk about some of these subway industries and then we'll look into what are the ways where we can use this real time intelligence here why i'm saying this is because you can also take this use case you can learn about these things and then you can build your solutions accordingly based on your niche area where you are so first starting with smart manufacturing right so this smart manufacturing is basically equipment health monitoring which is what we are going to focus here that's what we discuss on this initial part so i'm not going to cover this here so we can just move on to the next one which is smart cities so that is basically traffic flow management so basically what we have it here in the traffic signal we have a gps sensor vehicles and monitoring all those things we can track those things here right so if there is an issue on the weather which is happening they like recently we are facing about the cloud the air quality all those things right what is all those about these are all the smart iot devices this is actually running in the real time and sending those informations to a centralized place and from there we are getting all those information like google actually sends us if you are using a google maybe if you are using apple iphone you will get a message about the air quality is not good in your city so those kind of pollution controls all those things comes under this one so if you want to build any kind of solutions accordingly you can also build using that iot solution and the next thing here is the retail industry so we have a smart inventory management where you can have rfid tags and then smart shelf so this is basically useful if you have an inventory piling up on your rack and you want to keep a kind of reorder level if the stock goes down then you want this to trigger automatically and you can can place a reorder for yourself in a draft manner so this actually really helps the sales time because you don't need to go and look for this information on the rack so where this item it is gone because if we are a retail company then you can have a thousands of products so you cannot able to go and look for each and every product so you can set up some threshold if something is goes down then you can send it to you as an alert automatically physically and not saying about systematically it's actually triggering from the system the rack positions here so this is one of the use cases for the retail industry and now when it comes to healthcare is patient monitoring system this is really crucial part i can say because it actually not only link with this company profit and machines it actually link with the health of the patient so really continuous monitoring of a patient and based on this information we can have a triggers and then the nurse or the doctors can look for the patients immediately if something is going wrong going wrong with the patient and also with this device wearable device what we have seen right now which is the smart watches all those things are small smart devices where it can send the live informations to our smartphone devices and then we can look for our health issue itself on the real time so these are some of the use cases for the healthcare as now when it comes to other use case which is a logistics and fleet management so this can be really helpful if you are tracking a shipment i think if you are aware microsoft initially launched about this real time analytics they started with this shipment management itself so they want to monitor this container this inside to man what is the temperature over there because some of the times if you ship something which is has to be in certain temperature because of the medicine because of the meat or food kind of thing it has to be preserved in certain degree celsius then it has to maintain that if something goes wrong within the ship there are thousands of thousands of containers being loaded into the ship it is really hard to for a person to go and physically monitor those things right even though they are in some critical situations on this center of the ocean to avoid all these things we can have a set up iot devices inside to the container and that can send signals based on the temperature what is there and if something is goes wrong then we can alert to the shipment the people those who are there they can now go and look for that particular container physically one or two cases so how about looking for thousands of thousands of containers on a regular basis or just monitor hundreds of 200 of containers whenever there is an issue occur so that actually saves time and it gives also healthy systems of the container shipment here and also with fleet management even though i like the approach of what uh, the recent update we have seen in like some of this company like ola over i think they have the functionality that if the fleet is going too fast they are actually keeping an alert for the driver so that they can check for the information that they are moving too fast they had to be slow down their speed here that is also another use case and about they are also tracking about where the gps location and also the fleet overall the machines and engine capacity and performance over there 
तो दिस ऑल्सो यूज केस वेयर दे कैन यूज दिस आईओटी हब्स हियर एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज हियर एग्रीकल्चर हियर तो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग स्मार्ट इरिगेशन व्हिच इज बेसिकली सोइल मॉइस्चर सेंसर एंड वेदर सेंसर एंड वाटर फ्लो मीटर सो ऑल दोस थिंग्स इज रियली एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इवन दो दिस इज अ क्रूशियल पार्ट बिकॉज़ एग्रीकल्चर इज इंप्रूविंग नाउ इट इज एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द स्मार्ट सिस्टम लाइक ड्रोन्स एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स people are actually utilizing more in urban cities where they can plant themselves and i have seen recent video from oh, one of the youtube channel is like the dubai is actually building this infrastructure within housed agriculture development for them sir that is really amazing how they are reaching there and they are also using this iot devices as help of that to monitor all those things the moisture the condition of this one the weather conditions and the flow of water and all those things So you can also use this as a use case, and then you can build your IoT solution. And the next thing here is an interesting one, which is obviously this energy sector. And it's smart meter where it actually monitors your energy consumption, whether it can be electricity, it can be gas or water flow in real time. It can sense those things, and then it can give you the information about how you are actually consuming those informations. So these are the some of the use cases. Energy consumption is not since I am talking about the home residential consumption. This is basically about a large company, those who are actually in dependent on these energy sources so it's really crucial for them to monitor the real time so basically the utility business they can say uh, there we can use the energy sector uh, this is really a helpful feature for them in order to maintain uh, this capability here if you like this video and if you want to continue this series please let me know in the comment section below share this video with others like this and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet